Hi, Achim Schlöffel from Inner Space Explorers. I've been asked a couple of times by various people to talk about this particular way of attaching a mask strap to a mask that you've probably seen on pictures and in an ISE manual and so on. And um, now also somebody of my patrons asked me about that, so I thought it's time to make a video about these um, different mask straps. So here's a pool of masks and uh, let me show you what we do and why we do it and so on. So the the mask that that everybody's talking about is this one and uh, you can actually see this uh, this stainless steel ring here and um, the story behind is that you basically want to avoid something like that. Um, so the silicone bands at some point or rubber bands or whatever you have break at some point, uh, especially they get a lot of sun, ultraviolet um, rays and uh, they get brittle and they break and normally they break in the worst um, in the worst moment, so normally when you're on the boat ready to dive uh, an hour from shore and you have no spares. And that's why the recommendation is to use a neoprene mask strap with some um, solid material. The issue, in my opinion, always always was, um, I mean, you use a frameless mask, so there's no plastic frame that can break. You use a neoprene mask strap that can't break or very unlikely to break, but then you use a plastic connection in between those two robust things, and that's probably the most brittle thing of all of these. And so I came up with the idea to connect these things with something that can't break either, and that's why I came up with this small... Um, with this small ring. The problem now is that I um, have to tell you that there's quite a few masks out there where that doesn't work. So that's an old subgear mask, so probably Screw Pro today, I don't know. Um, but you need this attachment point. So if you for example look at these, um, and a lot of modern masks have that, have that. They have this quick disconnect, quick connect, whatever thing. I can't even figure out how that works. Um, but there's a... Uh, old man needs glasses. Yeah, there is a... I don't know if that focuses on the camera, but there's this little pin in there. So, if you want to take that out, you would have to take this plastic part out and basically use this molded silicon part to attach the band but obviously you cannot go through that the same way that I did on on this mask I mean you probably see the difference here in the attachment points so this is probably not the best solution let's put it away um, if you look at something like this um, that's not a frameless mask that has a frame so what you can do is you can take the mask out here. Let me just do that for you. So, if you take that out, you could probably take that pin out, but the pin already is stainless. So, if you have a mask like this, I think it's easy to root um, the neoprene strap through here and you will not lose a lot of stability because that is a stainless rod in there with just some plastic around it so it slides. So if something breaks it's either the plastic around which will not make the, the strap come loose or the frame breaks but then the mask has gone anyway. So um, if you have a mask like this it will work uh, without any big uh, failures. And then here I have a kid's mask actually from one of my sons. and. Again, this quick disconnect, I mean, that's the most stupid solution. I mean, there's a little plastic pin in here that can break. If this thing breaks, you cannot adjust it anymore. And I mean, that this comes loose is just a matter of time, not a, not a, not a question if. And now, if you look here, I'm not sure if the camera can really show that. Um, if you take this plastic pin out here, you have the same attachment point than you have here. Actually, no wonder that's a scuba pro mask. Um, so basically, the same idea. You can you can see that, and then you can make that stainless steel ring. That would be a perfect attachment as well, and I think that's also um, something you find on a lot of different models. Um, before I show you how I do it with the ring, 
um, I found this one, which is also a nice solution. Somebody used this. That's like like one of the the straps that you use uh, on a, on a stage, and just took it directly through the through the plastic of that framed mask. Um, I actually found this one while diving. Um, I just found it a, an, an interesting concept. That's why I wanted to show you. That's for sure also a very stable solution um, to not lose your mask. I mean, <laughs> that's obviously it should be a snorkel holder. Um, I don't want to comment on that, but um, yeah, that's probably a good idea as well. All right, let me just grab one of these rods and I'll show you how to do this. So talking about how to do this, what I do is I take a stainless steel welding rod. Um, yeah, you can you can buy these depending on where you are in welding supplies or in a hardware store with a proper welding assortment, whatever. Um, it's a uh, it's uh, <laughs> okay. Here we are. That's a three millimeter actually. And what you what you want to do is you want to cut out a part of that. And so either you need a, a proper bolt cutter for that, um, or some some heavy cutting pliers, or you just need an edge grinder. So we just uh, take some eye protection and do it with the edge grinder. Come with me. So when you've cut that off, just uh, use a metal file and get some of the get the sharp edge off a little bit, so you're not cutting your fingers or the silicone of the mask. And um, then you just need then you just need. Some heavy pliers to bend that, and um, so there's depends obviously on 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 your on the size of your mask and um, whatever. But you use two pliers and you bend that, and then you can also use a vice grip if you want it a bit. Uh, a bit tighter and then the same thing on the other side so basically what you what you produce is a C a closed C and um, Alright, so you end up with something like this, and then you can you create it like this. And so what we do now is we take the edge grinder again and we cut it here, and that will give us like a perfect circle. So let's Yes. So don't forget your eye protection. Get it in the vise. So now you see that we created this form and now what you do is you just 
get it in one line and now you have here a little bit more now you have this C clamp basically that you can also see here and to install it here you open it up a little bit more so to open it up again you just use your pliers once more and open it a little bit so you can get it through here and then from the other, I don't want to dismantle this mask now but I think you, you know what I, what I mean you open it up a little bit more you fiddle it in here push it as far as you can go from the other side and then when it's inside you basically use these ones more and you get it in like this get it over there and then you can see that you can close it and then it's in here and that will never break and then you can uh, get the mask straps through here all right i hope that answered the question and give you a little bit of of an idea of how to do this um, if you have questions on that please check out the patreon site that's where we discuss all these things in detail the link is in the description of the video um, if you like it give us a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to the channel please do so there's a new video every friday usually and uh, yeah thanks for watching and i uh, hope to see you next friday bye bye